Trey Gowdy has refused to give up on holding Hillary Clinton responsible for her many criminal activities. Though the mainstream media is refusing to report on what he's doing, Gowdy has made it clear that he is not backing down anytime soon. Barack Obama's Department of Justice has been trying to make things more difficult for Gowdy by giving key witnesses immunity from prosecution. However, Gowdy recently confronted the Obama administration about the tactics they've been using to cover up Clinton's crimes, and he definitely sent fear down their spines. Our government is like a hospital breeding diseases instead of healing. Well, there was a cover-up and the folks who aided and abetted the cover-up was the State Department, Gowdy commented. The State Department, which is supposed to be apolitical, non-interest in the presidential election, has been covering for Hillary Clinton since she left office. The level of corruption in our government is unbelievable and the only ones paying for their crimes are the American people. If you think that there is evidence that is relevant to an investigation on a piece of physical property, you use a subpoena, a grand jury subpoena, Gowdy continued. You don't strike an immunity agreement with the computer, you go get the computer. Her lawyer, Beth Wilkinson, who represents Heather Samuelson and Cheryl Mills, she's on record of saying the Department of Justice assured me my clients did nothing wrong. Well people who have done nothing wrong typically don't ask for immunity so my question would be immunity from what? What was it you were worried about? Put one in jail, you would have to put them all in jail. USA Politics Today helped contribute to this story. Its news exposed signing off.